Daily Devotion Read Genesis 1-1 In the Beginning By Jennifer A. Soon Whenever I conduct online classes for young kids, I am always amazed at how they can make you feel that you are the best teacher with the most creative activities. Their smiles are priceless. Their face lights up even with the simplest activities you let them do. One activity that made my students' day is the clothing relay. The two siblings were given sets of clothes, pants, caps, socks, and shoes to dress up. I will say what they need to put on. And they race to dress up completely. After the activity, the two were laughing so hard and told me, This is so much fun. When was the last time we looked at God's creation with so much sense of awe? Do we still have that sense of wonder as we read God's Word? Or have our hearts hardened and our minds numbed with a sense of entitlement? As if God owes us the creation of the world? For the longest time, I have been reading Genesis 1 with the perspective of asking what God created. You know, even trying to memorize the order of things created by the day. Nothing wrong with that, though. But reading this again recently, God allowed my ever-wandering heart to see beyond the facts and to focus on Him, the Creator and Sustainer of all things. It is overwhelming how much we can learn about who God is in the first chapter of the Bible. It begins with a declaration. God is the Creator. He is the originator of heavens and earth. God, being the Creator, reveals His self-existent nature. He always has been, and always will be. Because God transcends time, we can then take comfort that His promises stand forever, because of who He is. As we read on, we see that God takes center stage, not only as the Creator, but also as the Sustainer of all things. Not only does he prepare the environment for life, he gives life and commands life's continuation. As we look to him as our Father, we see more and more how purposeful he is. God was, is, and will be completely in charge of all creation. Knowing that God is our Creator, Sustainer, and Father, may our hearts stand in awe and open handed surrender to him. He alone is good and wise, and He cares for us, long before we even came to existence. God created everything, owns everything, and rules over everything. Reflection Even just by reading the first four words of the Bible, we see how God is supreme. Yet what keeps man insisting on unbelief? Pride we all think we can be God. We deny H's is in control. Yet even that does not change the fact that everything submits to God's will, design and timing. God's perfection exposes our foolishness. Do we stand in awe of our Creator? What keeps our hearts from giving Him praise? Prayer Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for being mindful of us, such unworthy beings placed in the grandeur of all creation. Lord, may your grace awaken our dead hearts to bow down and worship you, and understand your divine love for us. Amen.